and she is literally um, collateral damage to something that was going on uh, around her that she had nothing to do with. The most I'm willing to say right now is there was a dispute um, that she was not involved in. And we're, we're still working out the details of exactly what that was. Police are now reviewing surveillance video and they say their investigation of Dover's third homicide of 2024 is moving quickly. They say they want to get the suspect or suspects off the street. They certainly want to get justice for the victim and her family. And they also want to reiterate the same message that Dell State President Tony Allen said in a letter to the school community. This type of violence just can't be allowed to happen. I can say that I'm relieved and I appreciate all the work that went into to making these arrests. Chanel De Silva was at the Dover Police Department as the chief announced arrest for her daughter's murder in the early hours of April 21st outside a Delaware State Residence Hall. On April 21st, 18 year old Kamei Mitchell De Silva was murdered while visiting her best friend on the campus of Delaware State University. She had plans on enrolling at the college in the fall to study cybersecurity. All of her dreams were snatched away at the drop of a dime, with her family and friends left to grieve. A little over two weeks after her murder, Dover police would announce the arrest of two people, 18-year-old Damian Henson and 20-year-old Destry Jones, who are both charged with murder and attempted murder of two other young men in connection with the April 21st shooting. Police said U.S. Marshals and other law enforcement partners helped arrest Jones on May 2nd at an apartment in New York City, and later that same day, Henson was taken into custody in the parking lot of Gateway West Shopping Center along the 1000 block of Forest Avenue in Dover. According to the Dover Police Chief, neither of the suspects in this case are enrolled at or affiliated with DSU. Police claim Jones and Henson were part of a group involved in the fight with two other men at the Tubman Laws Building before shots were fired, striking Kamei in her head. It's unclear how long the extradition process will take for Jones, who remains in New York. Henson is being held in Sussex County at the Sussex Correctional Institution on cash bail exceeding $3 million. Delaware State University said it will honor the silver at commencement later this week. Kamei's mother said it was good to hear that the two men were arrested and her daughter slain. She said, in a way, it felt good to hear the day before her funeral that they apprehended two people for it. Also, when asked what she might want to say to the men accused of killing her daughter, she said that she hoped that they felt regret for their actions that day. She says, I hope you can live with what you did and that guilt eats you up because you took my baby girl away from me. I'm the father of a young lady who just graduated college. And I can't possibly put my head in the same space as what the De Silva family must be going through with the idea that that graduation day isn't coming. It's connected to gun violence. Guns are being used as a problem-solving tool in too many places in America. It has to stop. I hope that they can live with what they did because they did made a stupid choice that's going to affect their life. They took someone that had nothing to do with what, what was going on with them and their senseless choices affected a whole lot of people. They said, police, they just wrapped up this news conference where they provided this update a short while ago. They say to get to this point, it took a lot of collaboration, hours of speaking with witnesses and days of reviewing the surveillance cameras from the campus. And they say those cameras played a major role in cracking this case. The Dover Police Department is announcing the arrest of Destry Jones, age 20 and Damian Hinson, age 18, both of Dover. This morning, Dover police announcing these two arrests. This update comes just two weeks after 18-year-old Kamei De Silva was shot on the campus of Delaware State University. She was rushed to the hospital where she died. Police say she was not the intended target or involved in any way. For the record, Mr. Jones and Mr. Hinson are not enrolled as students at Delaware State University and they have absolutely no affiliation with the school. Police say the duo were involved in a fight on campus that led to shots being fired. May 2nd, Jones was taken into custody by marshals in Brooklyn, New York, while Henson was taken into custody in Dover. Today, Kamei's mother calls the announcement of these arrests a relief. And yeah, both suspects, they face a number of different charges, including murder and also possession. They also face two counts of attempted murder of a 20 and 21 year old related to the same incident. But they have announced they have made arrests in this case that happened on Dell State's campus at 140 in the morning on April 20. 
21st. Take a look at the video. You're going to recall some of the stuff I'm talking about here. 18-year-old Kameda Silva, she was visiting a friend on campus that night. She was set to attend the university in the fall. Dover police now say fights among young men who had nothing to do with Kame nor the university itself caused Kame's death. She was hit in the head by a bullet. Police have arrested 20-year-old Destry Jones and 18-year-old Damian Hinson for the shooting outside the Tubman Law's residence hall. Jones was arrested at an apartment in Brooklyn, New York. He's going to be extradited back here to Dover. The police chief, the president of Dell State University, prosecutors, they all had a lot to say here this morning, but I want you to hear from Kamei's mom at this point when I asked what she would like to say to the two men now arrested and charged with killing her daughter. So I hope you can live with what you did. And that guilt eats you up. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack with this new information today. The police had high praise for the resident assistance in the dorm buildings at Dell State. They followed all of their training, and that really helped police. We also asked the university president today about some students telling us they should somehow totally enclose the campus for security reasons, whether that's even practical or possible. You'll hear